Hi, my name is Victoria Yampolsky. I'm the president of the Startup Station. Welcome to our weekly strategic finance tips. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the um, tricky questions investors can ask you when it comes to your financials. So question number one, what are the top three drivers for your business and how do you measure them? This is a very common question and surprisingly a very tough one for those founders who have not built their model properly and have not really discovered what this model is most sensitive to. Right? And it's incredibly important because these are the drivers that will make or break your business. Right? And you also, in addition to knowing what these drivers are, you also need to know the break even points for each of those factors, right? At which point you will begin losing money if you, if you uh, get past that point. Question number two, how do you project demand? Now, that is a million dollar question, uh, especially for those startups that don't have a lot of financial history. Uh, and here's the deal. If you don't link demand to your strategy, all your projections will be non-credible, right? So if you do some top to bottom um, modeling where you say we're going to uh, acquire this uh, percentage of market share or demand is going to grow in this rate, this is great if you had the data in the past to support it. But if you don't, you really have to go from what you can do based on how much money you have, your product development timeline, your labor constraints, regulatory constraints, and the conversion of rates, expected conversion rates for each go-to-market strategy. Without that, whatever you project is nothing, right? It's nothing credible and nothing that investors can really take seriously. Even you as a founder can take seriously as a goal. Question number three, what is your burn rate, right? A burn rate, is uh, uh, basically an amount per month uh, which you uh, spend out of your um, cash, right? This is what it is. How much money do you burn each month? So once your cash flow per month turns positive, right? Once your company begins making money, you don't burn cash anymore. But until it's negative, this is the monthly fixed cost. And um, it's very important to know this number because of course, initially, this is all you're going to have before you begin generating revenues and before they grow enough to really cover your costs. This is what investors wanna know. They wanna know what it is and what it's applied to and when they can really start seeing, right? A positive return uh, on their investment, return to positive cash flow and a final break even. Now, let's be very clear that cash is not the same as income. Income includes some items in there due to accrual accounting that are, make it not equal to cash. And if you're not sure what it is, we have a video on our YouTube channel and a blog that addresses that. We also cover this um, concept in a accounting class. Question number four, will you need additional rounds of financing and how many? Right, so why do they wanna know it? Investors wanna know how much they will um, be diluted uh, in the future. Right, and um, how many times will you know, will you uh, need to and uh, the goal raise money? Why is it important? Because you know every time you stand the risk of not being able to do it, right? And so early investors uh, have to consider that risk when they're making an investment in you. How do you know this information, right? When you just make your initial projections and you say, okay, this is how much money I need in order to get the valuation that I want and to reach my revenue goals, your balance sheet cash line will show if your company is not generating enough money to cover all of your growth needs. And that amount of money that your company um, misses will be the amount of funding that you need to get and it will show in which years you have that gap. And then you, you can of course plan out whether to raise all the money. In one go or to spread it out like most companies do over several phases. And finally, question number five, what is your unit economics, such as customer acquisition cost, average revenue per user, average cost per user? Now, why is it important? You need to understand the um, business model dynamics per user so that you can build a profitable business. Because if you're not uh, building uh, your business model in a way where you make a money per customer and you really understand those calculations. Once you add all of your operating costs, you may end up with a business that is just not profitable, right? So you need to really uh, make sure you understand those costs, you understand those uh, revenue metrics and whatever other metrics you have. And they're really in line uh, 
uh, or better than your competition, right? You don't want to uh, build a business where your customer acquisition cost um, is, you know, $1,000 for a business where all other businesses acquire their customers for 20, right? So there's will be something definitely, definitely wrong with your business model if that is the case. Alternatively, if you project and uh, for businesses where the customer acquisition cost is 20, suddenly you see that your customer acquisition cost is a dollar, you need to really look at your numbers and ask yourself, okay, why is it the case, right? Am I doing something revolutionary better than uh, everybody else, right? Why uh, are my costs so much lower? So you need to uh, ideally be better than the average, but not uh, without a good reason, not significantly different, definitely not higher. And here you go. If you like this video, please like it, share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more strategic finance tips every week. And follow us on social media uh, for uh, more very exciting and useful content for entrepreneurs.